Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, when we left off, uh, a lot of things had went wrong. Um, <laughs> while trying to make it right, we were riding on the train after doing the tomb. And uh, Arden showed up and uh, is clearly in some way, shape, or form... Fucking with Noct's head. We don't know how he's managing it, but he is. And, uh... Apparently... We were mistaken in thinking Arden was... In one place and Prompto was in another. We try to deal with Arden. Turns out... That was Prompto. And, uh... It's hard to tell what uh, is going to go on from there. I'm assuming this is where Prompto's uh, DLC starts. And uh, we're going to see how it goes from here. But considering where I had to leave it off, uh, we're starting here. Oh boy. This can't be good. Just got worse. I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember uh, being stuck here. Um, oh yeah, now I do. Okay, this was right after uh, the whole thing with Prompto. Okay, it was just after. That's right. Alright, so, now we're going to deal with these guys. Which might be a problem. The Gargoyle. Uh, the Snaga is okay. Alright. And the Gargoyle. Let's get a look at them. I don't have any weapons that they're weak against. Fuck. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that I can make do with the sword. Ow. Or maybe not. Fuck off. Ow. Fuck you. Come on. There we go. Got you. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I need to turn my headset up a little bit. I can barely hear things. All right, and we'll go after this one. What the? Really? That was weird. Got blocked by the uh, blocked by the gap in the train. That's a uh, little on the odd side there, I'll admit. Huh? Messing with my headset. There we go. Trying to make sure it's all working right. Okay. Well, uh, looks like there's one behind me again. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're filing in behind me. Uh, I'm also going to be moving forward, because I have a feeling that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yep. That's what it says in the mission description. Make your way to the front car. Oh, boy. Uh, places. Oh boy, this can't be good. This cannot be good. Oh boy, that that attack in particular is annoying. No, not really. But uh, we're making good progress thus far. So there's that. Man, this train is long. Fuck. Well, there's a couple of them up in front. Okay. Okay. There we go. Deal with them. Cool. At least I can knock them around with sword swings. That makes it slightly easier on me. Alright, so I'm not allowed to warp. What is that noise? What? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Great. Hold out until the train clears the tunnel. Okay, great. Fan fucking tastic. There we go. Oh! Fuck off with this! Um, why are there 
are like five of you. Okay, this can't be. Weren't you dead? Um... feel bad for the people on this train. Because they have already had to deal with so much. And we're just throwing them into more. Sheesh. No turning back. Well, not like we have a choice now. Sheesh. My chair is being very annoyingly noisy. Wow, I'm sorry. Here. Horanea. Oh, hi there. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. Okay. Well. I guess we don't have a choice. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Come on, Noctis. Give her a chance. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh... Just a flesh wound. Can Whoop, you see? There we go. I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Please, Darn Amp, we've been through uh, this. Wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah. Yeah. There was. We lost track of him. Is he dead? I I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. Alright. Fair enough. Are you going to show us, sir? Okay. So if it's not you, we think. It should take a long thank time. Thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. Really? Well, that's good you mentioned of you. being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Biggs and Wedge? Engineers. Biggs and Wedge. Hey! They can take a lickin'. Okay. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. Yeah, we'll that's true. It. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Thank you. Uh, speak with Biggs. Okay. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Yeah. Especially the gorge. Oh, the, the place gorge. is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With really? Me. Guess I ought to find her then. Yeah, I guess it's a must. Speak to the retainer of House Flore. Alright, I guess she's uh this away. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shovel. Alright. Will do. Ugh. My voice is uh starting to crack. My body is starting to crack, let's be honest here. I'm uh, recording directly after uh a long, long day. Quite frankly, I kind of want to go to bed. <laughs> but. I can last a little while. See where this takes us. Hi there. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we? Oh, 
Blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Okay. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. What are you talking about? Wasn't Ravis one of the... Wasn't he trying to kill us not that long ago? What are you... I beg of you. Please. See the ringed Noctis. On my behalf. Already. My flesh has begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. <sighs> By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. So Ravis has been double dealing this whole time. And that's the main reason why he's been fighting us as hard as he has been. Because he can't let on that he's double dealing against the Empire with us. That makes sense. And it also shows that Luna was already in dire straits as well. I'm sure if she was able to continue with what she set out to do. Was she already dying at that point? It's hard to... It's hard to tell. I learned from Lord Ravis that poor Prina also passed that tragic day by Lady Lunafreya's side. Perhaps there is some solace that they could remain together to the end. Umbra must be distraught, having lost his mistress and dear friend. Yeah. But Umbra's toughing it out. May the stars watch over you, Prince Noctis. Man. Jeez. That is... Jeez. I don't know what to think on that.
let's just move on to the next location we have to go. Oh. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? That, uh, yeah. Yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab really? rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. So you think that because the crystal holds a threat to the demons, that's the main reason they went after it? Okay. So I'm willing to assume that if we in some way are able to channel the crystal's power, it would get rid of the demon problem and the uh, lack of daytime now. Certainly okay. explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal and how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. I see. So that that kind of confirms my theory. That we need to take the crystal back to be able to fix all the problems that are currently going on. Alright. Okay. That definitely, uh conveys the importance of the whole event. That lighting is, uh, not looking too great. That's, uh, that's a problem with the engine for sure. Okay. Might as well run it. Unless the game tells me it's not gonna let me. Hi there. Were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. That was one of the first times Saw her Lady Luna Freya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Fucking hell. This is where all the story, you know, loose threads are coming together. This is not fair. Don't be doing this to me, game. Lady Lunafreya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. <laughs> Thanks. Jeez. Will we ever see the dawn again? <sighs> what has become of our world? How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. 
I can only imagine how she must have felt. She was probably not the happiest of campers, considering. Is the manor badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Ravis didn't have it much better than Lady Lunafreya. Pity we never got the chance to talk things out. Hopefully, His Majesty's glaive awaits us in the capital. Should be, as long as Ravis has it on his person. Just hope the Chancellor isn't awaiting us too. Still can't believe House Flore has reached the end of its family line. Everything's kind of going downhill. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. Yeah, Perhaps she, hasn't. she has no reason to stay now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. So they eventually found out. Well, that's not good. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open. If you need a break. Alrighty. Well. Since there's really no such thing as a daytime anymore. I guess we don't really need to worry too much about the dining car and everything. Everything sucks. Everything right now sucks. Oh my god. I can't I can't handle any more of this. Oh. At least I can save the game right now properly. Okay. Um I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And, uh, yeah. Here's hoping the game doesn't get any more depressing, huh? Uh, uh, let's be honest, it's going to. Okay, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... <laughs> getting slammed with a whole bunch of story elements that I did not expect to get hit with. Uh, including the fact that apparently Ravis was on our side the whole time and... Luna might have been uh, destined to die one way or another for you.